Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as we know that we are on chapter number one, characteristics and life processes of living organisms. And today I will deliver its fourth lecture. And the lecture is project. So today we, we are going to make a project, which is an activity. So my dear students, before moving on towards the activity, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, you have to listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. So quickly tell me that how do animals breathe? Animals breathe through their lungs. Very good. Now quickly tell me how do plants breathe? Plants breathe through the, through the leaves. The leaves which are present on the trees, they have stomata on them. And that is how the plants breathe. The gas exchange happens. So my dear students, now let's quickly move, for, move forward towards today's student learning outcome. Today's lecture, students will be able to compare and contrast characteristics that distinguish major groups of living things, plants and animals. So my dear students, today we are going to make a project on the characteristics of plants and animals, which is on growth, by the way. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. Allah is the creator of everything and he has charge over uh, everything. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. So quickly listen to the question and then answer it. Did you grow a plant ever? Kya aapne kabhi koi seed so kiya ho or plant grow kiya hai aapne? Nahi kiya to aaj hum plants ko grow karenge and we will uh, look at how the plants grow unke in the growth process kaise hota hai. Next is how plants grow up. They grow from a seed. Very good. So, did you ever grow up? Uh, grow? Uh, uh, grew up? Did you grow, ever grow up a pet? Kya aapke paas koi pet hai? Jisko aapne jiski growth dekhi ho? Any dog, cat, or a chicken? Okay. We will also have a look at that. Next is how animals show growth. Animals grow from babies to adults so that is how both plants and animals show growth so my dear students now let's quickly move forward towards and have a look at the characteristics and we daily basis pe revise karenge to hame ye yaad rahengi ki animals or plants both are living things and both have some characteristics like movement growth today we will talk about growth respiration eat and feed reproduction sense and respond and excretion so these are all the characteristics of living things. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the reading. So today we are going to make a project. So first let's look at the instructions of the project. So for this project, uh, we will move forward towards page number seven. Quickly open it in your books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the material that is required. Seeds of your choice, containers, soil and water. And for procedure, we will add soil, sow the seeds, sprinkle water and then we will observe different changes. And then you will record the observations in your book. So let's quickly do it. So my dear students, uh, growth and plants, for that you need some seeds, any seeds of your choice. Koi bhi aap le sakte hai. You need a pot and you need soil. And after that, you also need water. So, my dear students, what we will do is sow the seeds and water it. Aapne mitti ke andar beech ko lagana hai. Uske baad aapne isko mitti se cover kar dena hai. And then you will water it. So, this is how we sow the seeds. Now, let's uh, do this activity here. Mere paas abhi uh, mitti bhi hai, container bhi hai. I also have some seeds. So, let's sow the seeds in the container. And we will see that how we can do it. So here, my dear students, you can see that I have a container. This is full of soil and I have seeds. These are pea seeds that I have and I also have water here. So let's now first what I will do is thodi si mitti ko side pe hatayenge hum. And after that, we will put in the seeds. Thode se fasle, fasle pe seeds ko mesha rakha kare. Because each seed will grow into a new plant. So, unko proper jaga bhi chahiye hoti hai. So, this is how many seeds ko andar rakh diya. Now, I will cover it with the soil. 
once the seeds are covered now we will pour the water sprinkle the water pour the water bahut zyada bhi nahi dalna apne and this is how you will sow the seeds okay so done aapke sowing ka jo process hai that is done now let's move forward okay in the next step note the changes after 2 weeks once you have put the seeds into the pot isko aap jo hai 2 weeks ke baad iske andar check karenge ki kya change aaya hai theek hai isko aapne sunlight mein rakh dena hai aur change in the stem length uske baad aap dekhenge ki stem length mein kya change aaya hai condition of stem dekhenge uska color dekhenge stiff hai ya weak hai ye check karenge erect ya need support yani ki bilkul seedha khada hua hai ya usko koi support ki zarurat hai kyunki sometimes aisa hota hai ki when the uh, stems are weak they fell so you can choose seeds of your own choice aap apni marzi ke seeds ko bhi select kar sakte hain so after a few days you can notice a tiny seedling will come out of the seed theek hai aur phir aapne usko check karna hai ki iske jo hai wo kis tarike se iske andar changing aayi hai iska stem kaisa hai color kya hai stiff hai ya nahi hai um, is it erect or not so these are the changes that you will note and then you will note down these changes in your books so keeping the keep watering the plant and record changes after 2 weeks change in the stem length kitni length hui hai uski aap scale ki madad se isko measure kar sakte hain and write it down here and condition of the stem uska color aap likhenge stiff hai ya weak you will write it here erect or need support aap wo yahan likhenge then continue watering the plant and observe after 2 other weeks ab ye karne ke baad aap do aur hafton ke baad usko check karenge and note down the notable change over here दो हफ्ते के बाद उस प्लांट में क्या चेंज आई है आपने वो देखना है और कंक्लूजन व्हाट डिड यू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस एक्टिविटी और आप इस एक्टिविटी से क्या लर्न करेंगे आपको वो भी बताना है ठीक है यू कैन शेयर इट विद योर क्लास फेलोज और यू कैन आल्सो राइट डाउन इन योर नोटबुक सो वी लर्न दैट वेन वी वॉटर वेन वी सो दीज इन टू द सॉयल इट नीड सॉयल वॉटर एयर एंड सनलाइट टू ग्रो देन टाइमली आफ्टर सम टाइम टाइमली सीडलिंग will come out of the soil and after few weeks we will notice the change in the stem length in the uh, shape in the color and also in the uh, leaves of the plant <clears throat> so is tarike se aap growth jo hai wo notice karenge ek plant ke andar now is the part b of the project so part b hai growth in animals kyunki hum dono ko side by side pad rahe hain plants ko and animals ko now we will notice the growth in animals so for this you need to grow up a chick aapko ek chuse ki zarurat hai jisko aapne grow karna hai meanwhile observe notable changes taking place in the chick aur chick mein kya notable changes aayenge wo aapko notice karne hai record and submit their observation after 3 weeks aap ek chick chick ke andar 3 hafton ke baad kya notable changes aate hain unko note down karenge size increase hota hai uski beak ka color change ho jata hai feathers ka color change ho jata hai that you will notice you will observe you will note it down and then you will present it in your class so my dear students growth in animals so grow up a chick so a chick jo hai it comes out of an egg and then after that it grows in size in col it col it col its color changes uske feet ka color change hota hai beak change hoti hai so this is how uh, there uh, the growth is shown in the animals so my dear students now is the time for evaluation quickly listen to the question and then answer it how plants show changes in them in growth process in size in stem in their stiffness in their color so in their size so this is how the growth is shown in the plants after that what are the changes in an animal in growth process it also grows in size changes its color uh, becomes more strong with the time so jaise jaise plants or animals bade hote hain they become strong लेकिन दोनों की स्ट्रेंथ शो करने का या एक्सप्रेस करने का तरीका डिफरेंट है उसका स्टेम स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाता है जो एनिमल्स हैं उनकी लेग्स और फेदर्स स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाते हैं व्हेन दे ग्रो अप सो दिस इज द ग्रोथ प्रोसेस दैट वी ऑब्जर्व इन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टूवर्ड्स द प्रैक्टिस फॉर प्रैक्टिस यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस वर्कशीट फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो दिस वीडियो और यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट इट इन प्रिंट फॉर्म बाई टीचर सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स जो आप एक्टिविटी परफॉर्म करेंगे उसको आप इस वर्कशीट में रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हैं दिस विल बिकम वेरी इजी इसको आप अपनी नोटबुक में अटैच करें और यू कैन प्रेजेंट इट इन द क्लास 
आप एक फाइल बना सकते हैं पूरी क्लास की एक फाइल बन सकती है सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मल्टीपल तरीके से आप इस एक्टिविटी को परफॉर्म कर सकते हैं सो राइट डाउन योर नेम एंड योर क्लास रोल नंबर एंड देन ग्रोथ एंड प्लान दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ द वर्कशीट सो डे वन डे टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल आफ्टर टू वीक्स यू विल ऑब्जर्व द चेंजेस इन द प्लांट एंड देन हेयर ग्रोथ इन एनिमल्स सो आफ्टर टू वीक्स और थ्री वीक्स यू विल नोटिस द चेंजेस एंड डे बाय डे नोटिस द चेंजेस एंड देन प्रेजेंटेड इन यू क्लास ओके माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज एट डाउनलोड दिस वर्कशीट एंड यू विल कंप्लीट इट आफ्टर डूइंग दिस एक्स एक्टिविटी so my dear students now is the time to note down your homework for homework what you will do is independent activity number 1 movement of animals so different animals show different movements here is a list of different modes of movement that various animals adopt name them like uh, ye humne previous lecture mein bhi ki thi if you have missed it you can do it again so this is given on page number 6 so make a column write the movements on one side and then which animals show that movement write it down like jump rabbits jump and hop uh, run tigers run cats run dogs run glide uh, birds glide then crawl which animals crawl um like uh, snakes they crawl and creep so this is how you can write um the different movements of different animals so my dear students now is the time for wrap up so today what we have learned today we learned that plants show changes in length of stem color stiffness and posture during growth whereas animals show changes in size color and food during growth yani ki inka food taking uh, uptake ka bhi tarika jo hai wo mukhtalif ho jata hai shuru mein jo animals hote hain they are dependent on their parents for feeding and after that one they when they grow up they feed on their own so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture do perform this activity at your homes and in your class with your friends with your peers you will definitely enjoy it keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz